Come to say goodbye. Bye. Hey, goodbyes. Hey, goodbyes. <laughs> Bye. Happy it's Thanksgiving, good. bro. Thanksgiving, bro. You guys got to spend a little bit of Thanksgiving together. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Nice Homeless Season 2. Real, it's one of the realest dudes I've met. It's the real one. <laughs>
spring grow. Let's see, we're walking around. Astro showing us around in the country of the dragon. Let's <laughs> go. Dragon. So long means in Chinese dragon. Dragon. Oh, ah, yeah, that's why long like yeah. dragon place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why. So ready to do my workshop. My workshop is in two hours. I will see you there. Get ready. Get ready to rumble, right? I'm gonna make you work a lot. Be ready. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> One thousand and two. <laughs> so as you can see, we joined Po One to Longa, the square of the dragon, and Astro showed us around. We did this nice video, but actually we were there because we ourselves attended the workshop from Po One. Nice yeah, well, we killed that routine at freestyle session. <laughs> no, I messed up, but we still did good. No, the good. Breaking the day. super angry with this button because this guy has diarrhea and he just wants to help or so. <laughs> There's something that we learned in those days is to count on one hand in Chinese. It's Li, Li, Chi, Chi, Eight, Ba, Eight, Ba, Ba, Nine, and Ten. Alright, so, so you got my voice back. This is me at the voiceover. I know you guys missed it. So the guy you see on the screen is called Misha. He's originally from Siberia, lives in China for six years now, works as an English teacher and was our personal tour guide and became a good friend along the way. He just, you know, he just made it happen that we have a great time and explained everything to us as well as the counting you just saw. And he showed us around, as I said. So we were sitting in a bus, and in the bus you couldn't watch TV, bro. Check this out. This is crazy. And Misha brought us to a food market, which was amazing. <laughs> amazing roast duck. Okay, get some more food. Okay, so right now the food court. It's called uh, I forgot its name, but Mike brought us to the food court, and I got already like some chicken which is filled with rice Beijing uh, Beijing uh, Beijing I don't know Beijing spring rolls and this looks insane oh hell yeah this is where I want to eat recommend what should I recommend yeah well so I tried this one it's quite simple not really expensive cool this one scorpion yeah uh, what else I had those already Damn, these are fucking spiders, bro. Come on, bro. Oh my god. Is this a snake? Yeah. Oh no. Uh, and they can't like hurt you no more? Like. Yeah. They can hurt you? No, I didn't show. No, they got it. Okay. So I'm eating spiders. No. Scorpions right now. Michael recommended me scorpions. First spirits, yeah. So I'm gonna get scorpions. Woo. But definitely not spiders because they are so freaking nasty. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm nervous, bro. <laughs> Oh, like this? Oh man, it's even more nasty. Oh, no, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Very good. It tastes like a little bit like I don't know chicken or something. It's so good. Very good. I love your kitchen. Ah, oh, it's scorpion. <laughs> so good, so scorpion it is. Oh, Thank you yeah, I tried this. What is they this? in Korea, right? What is this? Uh, that's a good question. I'd like to know. Uh, what kind of like you like? Chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla? No vanilla. No that's vanilla. Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate. That's the one where you got like four, right? Do the one for her. Are you dragons? <laughs> oh wow, a dragon Zilu. That's funny. Is it tasty though? Oh, it's very cold. So should I keep it long enough in my mouth, or, or just squeeze it out? How should I chew it? With an open mouth. You just suck it, you know. Actually. Oh, okay. It's nice, it's good. But it doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, just like taste, you know. Nasty. You know, and for the end, Misha brought us to this amazing platform from where you can see the whole downtown of Shenzhen. This beautiful what? lights they had every evening, they have oh, light so play true. in there, and you can you have just what? an astonishing what view on that. Yep. <laughs> and this was a couple of minutes so before I got lost in Shenzhen. We are on with this beautiful view and Chris decided that he needed to pee. And now he's lost. I have no idea where he is. I actually have um, been to a toilet, but I guess to another one. We're just probably gonna just wait here and see if he comes back or if we find him somewhere on this mountain. Right? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna find Chris. He's not in the toilet. I hope I can find him. Of course, I will find him, but the thing is, like, where I'm gonna find him? <laughs> it's gonna be a fun trip. Yep, and I stay here in case he comes yeah. back. Of course, they found me. Come on, man. I was a 25 year old man at that time. So, it took us probably 15 or 20 minutes, but we found each other. We're on a spaceship trying to get to Mars. That's what we agreed on, so. So here we are again at the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. It was a little bit tough because I had to put a whole week of China into this. I hope you guys like it still. Thanks to Misha for being the MVP in China. And see you next week when it's about the Taiwan stay. Be on the lookout. Peace.